But sometimes that back end is a little funny. Because, for example, I you was, that shit. you know, I was a character in one of the Boondocks episodes. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have a major part in the episode, but I had a whole section where Thugnificent came on of Vlad TV and mm-hmm. I had multiple speaking parts and, and everything else like that. It was, I don't know, a couple minutes in the mm-hmm. episode. I get royalty checks. I remember it got picked up by, I think, Hulu at one point. You ain't getting shit from them. I remember, <laughs> yeah, I remember I'm no. check every so often for like $3. It's not, it's, it's not the same. $5. No, no, no. Streaming. I, is... I don't think I've gotten a $100 check since, how much did I no, get? No, I think no, I got no. maybe $700 to do it. You're, you're and talk, since you're, then, I don't think I've gotten another 700 If you add it all together, it might be maybe a hundred bucks. It's, it's apples and, and grapefruits, man. It's, it's uh, no, no, it, that's streaming, that's TV. Okay. We're talking movies. All right. So, so it's it, it's a whole different thing. All right. I'm just so, saying. So, yeah. Th- it, I, I got so little. It was, in fact, I remember when I interviewed Carl Jones, I gave him my check, my last royalty right, check yeah, yeah. on camera. Yeah. He kept it, but it was only like $3. So yeah, I was like, it, who cares? Yeah. But had this been 20 years ago, it would have been a lot more. Okay. Yeah, which was what the strike was about. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it's, it. it's, a, it's, it's major different than when it was on in networks and now streaming. It's, uh, yeah, it's different. Well, one of my members, he actually brought this question up. He asked you to name the top five movies that you've been in. He should name the top five movies I've been in. I, I don't <laughs> even, I, I honestly am, I'm always looking through the windshield and not the rearview mirror. I don't think about that stuff. I honestly don't. I got to go into another, like, brain cavity to think about the last, uh, the top five movies I've been in. All right, because I looked it up. You've been I'm thinking in about the next five movies. 121 movies. Get the fuck out of here. Seriously? That's what it says. Well, you have 121 credits. This may include television. It's on IMDb, but it's 121. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah it includes TV, but it's still 121. Mm. You can't name just top five where you were like, yo, I killed that performance. Like, yo, I, I'm really happy with what I did. Like, I can think of my top interviews that I've done. You can't think of the top five well, films like, where you're I, like, yo. I have to sit there and think about it. Okay, I would. Would Batman be one of them? The, what what context? My favorites or what? I know you. You love money. So you, you're probably thinking about the highest grossing ones. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But you can't say The Dark have... Knight wasn't one of the most impactful movies that you've ever no, done. No, you're saying impactful. Yeah. So it depends on what category well, well, you're talking okay, about. Okay, how about this? L- let's take away impactful money or whatever else. The top five movies where you said, in terms of my craft as an actor, I feel like I really outdid myself in these films. Like, I'm really okay. proud well, of my I think I can get to five. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Because if I didn't do that shit correctly, I wouldn't be here. There you go. That's and one. Because that was somebody everybody knew and they could compare me to him. There you go. That's one. Okay. Black Dynamite. I wrote it. Direct. I did. Well, I, I wrote it. Created. I created it and performed it. Yeah. And and people are calling it one of the funniest movies. Yeah, I, I love and that. And I'm film. not known for comedy. Right. Yes. <laughs> but uh, Outlaw, I think, is in a way my best movie from writing and everything. And I think okay. in time. You, you know, people start to really discover all of the things I'm saying in that movie. Um, That's three. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, there's... Uh, I think the next one is going to be one of the best. Trouble Man is going to be one of the best. Okay, well, we're going to exclude that because it's not out yet. Yeah. I'm going to exclude that. I understand. I'm not saying it's not true. Yeah, yeah. But it's not out yet. So I'm it's not out yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I swear I had two more. Blood and Bone? Yeah, yeah, Blood and Bone. That seems to be everybody's favorite. That's, that's probably the biggest selling worldwide movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one more. Right. You wouldn't put one of the Tyler Perry movies in there? It probably grossing wise is probably no in terms of your performance where you said wow I killed that role. I'm not a big fan of me like that. Like I'm I'm uh, 
Okay, if you're talking about me and performance. Yes. Me and performance. Okay, yeah, maybe Tyler Perry, because I made you forget that I was the guy who kicks people in the neck. <laughs> and what, I was which, Marcus, what? and people, there's a lot of people that oh, he's Marcus. I'm like, okay. Which film is that? Uh, uh, why did I get married? One or two, or I don't know. But I'm playing the same character in both. Right, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, so that that kind of dismantled a little bit of the blood and bone and spawn persona. Right. Yeah. So the Toxic Avenger Part Three, the last temptation of Toxie. <laughs> <laughs> that's not one of them. So this was this is what it was about. This was a setup for the for the Toxic Avenger joke. Okay. I'll kick you in the shin later. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm joking, man. I mean listen, but those, those are those man. are five Mm. What I would say, five cult classic films. Thank you. Yeah. You know, they, they're not the Titanic, you know, making 100 million films, but these are all films that I feel the hip-hop community, which is where I function at, they've all seen these films. They all know the characters. True. They've all watched them. They've all admired how well they were put together. Mm. They all admired your, uh, you know, your acting ability memorable stories and so forth. You know, just like, for example, Friday. Friday wasn't the best-selling film, but a lot of people put that as their number one, you know, favorite comedy. Right, and and let me tell you, people don't realize this, but people don't have any idea how mid-level action movies make dun, 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 the most money. Mm. If you research that, you'll find that to be true. Even the Titanics, when you, when you start looking at the money it cost yeah. and the money it took to advertise it, they wind up, when you say uh, return on investment, Yeah, they're close to each other. But the biggest movies, historically, are these, mid, these action movies. These things that I do, they make, because they, they never are out of season. Like, uh, um, Road Warrior mm. is one of, is the most I think it's still the most profitable mu- movie ever. Mel Gibson's first uh... Yes, because it costs so little, but it has made hundreds of millions. Huh. So it it's it's like because you can keep watching it. It will always be on television. Right. And when they it, come up with a new one, people go back to watch the old one. Yeah, because and... no matter what, I don't care if you're in Serbia or somewhere else and you're having a beer or whatever they drink in Serbia, you're watching things like this, huh. right? And that's why one of, one of my kicks that I, I always love is that I, I get these, these um, copies of movies, uh, me dubbed in Russia, <laughs> R- Russian and, and Chinese and, Brazil, you know, and, and uh, Portuguese and all these different languages. I get a kick out of that, but that tells me that they're, they're dubbing me in all these different parts of the world, right? They're not doing that in the the usual black movies. And so people don't realize that is being sold you know everywhere. So so that's, you know, part of the whole thing with these kind of movies and um and uh, so you'd be surprised that things like Blood and Bone has made upwards of I, I don't know what the last total is. I'll get you that later, but it, it'll it shock you. It'll shock you because that movie, think about it, Blood and Bone, okay, which I did 14 some years ago, was trending on Netflix a month ago in the top 10. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the biggest, you know, biggest streaming in the country. Yeah with a movie that's 14 years old. So Netflix had to approach you to license that film for a certain amount of time on Netflix, right? I would love for that to have been happened, but no, I don't own the movie. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. I oh. wish I owned the movie. Well, I, but, thought you, I thought you put it together yourself. Well, I'm, I produced it, yeah. I, I get a percentage. Uh-huh. I don't own the movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, but if, you own... If I own the movie, I'd have the tank and the moat. <laughs> already you, 
you just have a Range Rover now. Yeah. <laughs> and a few other things. And a few other things. <laughs> and a nice house. Yeah. With a pond. Yeah. Not a it's mocha. A, it's a pond. It's a pond. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a koi pond. It's, not, it's a koi pond. I don't right. have no, no alligators. alligators no alligators. Right, right. I do have an alligator in it. Though. It's, it's a fake alligator. It's a fake alligator. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been to the house. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just got mm. a percentage. So, but you yeah. did, something came in your mailbox when it came on Netflix. It will. It will. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on that. Yeah, you know, it it went to my. I mean, I have to call my accountant to see if it went there. Got it. Yeah. So that 